been great to, to watch them uh, getting ready for the second test and lucky enough to face a few balls from uh, Nathan Lyon and Mitch Stark. So um, no, it's been a really cool day seeing you know these guys at the, the top of their game, of course, and, and getting to know a few of them a bit better as well. So it's uh, been a fun day out. Mitchell Stark not quite at his 100% pace, but what was it like facing him and Nathan Lyon in the nets a few moments ago? Yeah, it was was really cool. The uh, the Astro turf not exactly favourable for uh, for Gaz on on the spin, and uh, Mitch was coming up about half a step, I reckon. But uh, no, very very cool to have those guys uh, coming at you. I think normally I'd be terrified, but um, no, in those circumstances, very very cool. There's a brilliant picture you put on Instagram a few weeks ago yourself and Ricky Ponting. You were just six years old then, and he's been here at Australian practice as well. So this has been a, a pretty special day. Yeah, it's been a, a full circle moment, I guess, in some ways. Uh, many, many years later, nice to, to see him again and uh, actually, you know, be uh, able to speak to him about stuff this time, not uh, not just say hi and be in awe. So, um, no, very, very cool moment for me to to be here with all the Aussies, but especially Ricky as well. You know, he was was someone I looked up to when I was a little kid playing cricket, and uh, of course that photo is uh, I now now I guess a bit more famous. So, um, yeah, it's been very special to be here. And you've been travelling a lot recently, last time in Canada. Did you get to catch much of the first test? It was pretty epic and sets us up for, for an incredible summer. Yeah, I was checking the score in between sessions and stuff like that. And then uh, we, were, we were back from Canada for the fifth day. So I got to watch all of that in its glory on, on TV. Uh, pretty nerve-wracking few hours, but uh, glad we got it done. What do you make of this clash of styles? You've got England going out, all out attack, mm. but Australia seems to be just hanging in there and picking up the wickets, waiting for us, waiting for England to, to make mistakes. Yeah, I think obviously England's got a, a very different way of playing cricket at the moment with their their bas ball. Um, you know, it's um, you know certainly entertaining to watch, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be a really tight uh, contest for the rest of the series. Obviously, the first test was an absolute thriller, so. Um, Hopefully it stays the same to watch, but uh, hopefully the results the same through the whole series. And it's been a, a good couple of years for the Australian Test team. Are you proud with where they're at at the moment? Because there have been challenging times over the last few years. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, especially the last few years, we've we've really uh, had a good run. Of course, we we had the the World Test Championship against India, and and now the the Ashes, which you know is going to be a, a tight series. But um, you know, I think in in cricket, you know, as, for as long as I've watched, we've always been uh, been you know, thereabouts at the top. So uh, it's always exciting to watch the Aussies as well. And who will you keep your eye out on this week at Lords? Obviously, Marnus and Steve had a, a difficult time at Edgebaston, but I think they've been in the nets non-stop the last few days. So they'll be backing themselves to come good this week at Lords. Yeah, I, I hope they come good. Um, you know, it's it's pretty rare that they have a day off these days or, or an off day, I should say. But um, yeah, hopefully we can we can score some runs, of course. I think our team is, is super, super strong, um, you know, from a batting side of things and, and bowling as well. So um, we've almost got too many people to try and pick from, which is a, always a nice problem to have.